Hey Christian brothers and sisters, so it's early in the morning and I'm still kind of like waking up. I'm here at work, but you want to know what? I know that God is with me, man. God is with me. You know, I may not have the position or the job that I really want, but I know that God is still with me. I still have a, a real relationship with God, but I want to tell you something this morning because God just brought this to me. It just reminded me of who he is and who we are. Now, we ought to have a relationship with God, right? What is a relationship with God? Like, well, what is it to you? You know, I understand that God is, is blessing all of us. He even blesses the, the sinner. He blesses the atheist. He blesses the, the agnostic. He blesses all these people. He blesses everybody. But we have to understand what is a relationship with God? Is a relationship with God putting ourselves first before God? You know, because like, you know, I, I got to be real about this because we have to remember that God can bless us with anything that he wants to bless us with. But we can't just show off and reveal all the things he bless us with and not put him first before the blessings. We just can't say, OK, my blessings come first before him. He blessed me with all these things. He blessed me with with you know, how, how to be and how to look and how spectacular I am and how athletic I am and how I speak and how I go about my day and how, and, and we just can't say, okay, I come first because he blessed me with these things. He blessed me with this image. He blessed me with, you know, jewelry or he blessed me with women back lips or he blessed me with great swimming ability. And I think that's great that he blessed you, but we have to understand that he always comes first because he created you. He created you, not you created him. So I just wanted to say that, you know, I think it's wonderful that God has blessed us with everything that we need to live a godly life. He has, but he has not blessed us so that we can live a worldly life. It's to recognize who he is. That's why he blessed us. To recognize who he is. How powerful he is. How generous he is. How merciful he is in, towards our lives. And so, I think it's wonderful that God has blessed all of us. But when the blessings start coming first before God, then there's a problem. It's like, it's like there's more of a relationship with the blessings more than there is a relationship with God. And so I think it's wonderful that, you know, God has blessed all of us and we reveal that God has blessed all of us. But we don't have a relationship with the blessings. We have a relationship with him. We get intimate with him. We come before his feet. And we say, Lord, less of me and more of you, more of you, more of you. Show me how to be like you. Show me how to be like this thing. Just show me. I'm here. I'm open. You have access to me, Lord Jesus. You have access. And so I just want to remind you that, listen, like, uh, let me be, let me get more real with this. We can die at any given point in time. We can show off our athletic ability. We can show off how great we are we can show off that we got you know money and we got all this stuff but we can die tomorrow and it all be over that's real people have died in their beds this morning people have died yesterday people have died last week and they were perfectly they were perfectly healthy last month no one thought that they would pass away no one thought that they would die but after you die in the bible it says then judgment and then everyone has to step before God. You, me, everyone. Everyone that we see, everyone that we know has to step before God individually. And they have to be judged by God himself. And there's no escape. There's no escape. And God's going to know whether you put him first or you put his blessings first. God's going to know if you put his image, his spiritual image first or if you put your image first. He's going to know. He already knows. He already knows how you responded in your heart. 
to his blessing. She, he only knows how you, how you treated him after he blessed you. He only knows. So when you step before God, not step before a pastor, not step before a church, what do you, what are you going to to reveal to him? Are you going to reveal how spectacular you are, how fantastic you are, what things you have done for the community? It's not you that should be doing it. It should be him doing it through you. The way that you treat him here on earth is the way that, that you can treat him in the kingdom of God. And so if anyone puts their image first here on earth and say, you know, I'm wonderful, I'm spectacular, you know, look at me. And, you know, they are living such a, a glamorous life. I think that's wonderful that God is blessing us. Yes, you know, God God gives you money. God gives you riches. God gives you great ability. I think that's wonderful. But the most important thing is to have a relationship with him. That's the number one thing. That's all God wants. That's all God wants. If you can't have a relationship with him down here, an intimate relationship, and wanting to be, ooh, I'll say this. The relationship is to be like him. To be more like him. If we are the family of the kingdom of God, if we are part of his family, then we want to be more like him. We want to be more like him. And so that should be the number one, number one thing. That should be it. But God gives you the grace and the mercy, not so that you can be a greater self, but to be a greater son and daughter. God, to be more like him not like more like you right? not more like an image that you caught from the world but more of his wonderful and holy image but that's all I gotta say guys just wanna say I love you just think about this what is a relationship with your spouse what is a relationship with your father or your mother is a relationship receiving gifts from your mother and your father, receiving gifts from your husband or your wife, and then you're, you're just, you know, boasting yourself up and you're seeing how spectacular you are because you receive these gifts? Or is a true relationship with your mother and your father or your spouse, you're receiving the blessings and you're so thankful, you're so thankful for who you have a relationship with. You're so thankful who they are. That's how our relationship with God should be. But dwell on that. Dwell on that. That's all I gotta say, guys. Just wanna say I love you. Jesus first, God first, and may the kingdom always come first. Stay blessed in the Holy Spirit. Amen.